I know how to hack a lot. So which other training can they give that? Charlie, 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 Charlie. This is for crap. Flo, 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 flo. Open it. So I get a lot of colleagues that ask me this very question about how I got my first internship uh, in the role of penetration testing. So strangers as well on LinkedIn also ask me this kind of question. So there was this time that on my campus they created a lot of flyers uh, about the hacking. So I was like, I know how to hack a lot. So which other training can they give that? Charlie, 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 this is for crap. Flo, 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 open it. Doing this guys on, on LinkedIn that were cyber security experts in Ghana. So, and not just experts, um, I mean penetration testers, very good ones. So, because they were always posting, they were always posting their stuff and you could see, hey, Charlie, this place, there are no catch here, so, so. So what will happen afterwards, what? I texted one of them because I was following them, I was seeing what they, they were doing, I was like, oh no, I would, I would like to be like this guy. So I tested one of them and he was like, um, yes, they are the ones organizing the training. And he will advise, I joined because we texted a lot about all this. And then I took him as a mentor. He took me as a mentee as well. Oh, it's called Niha. So from that chat, what happened was, from that chat, then I kept following Invitech Global. So he told me it's a friend of his from China that is handling the organization and the training of um, the hands-on men. So from there, I kept following Invitech Global on all platforms because I wanted to also be like, the great hackers in the faceless code, we had a lot of hackers who were throwing it out there on hack the blocks and all the CTF platforms. So this so Invisible Global, a cyber security firm led by I won't disclose that information right now. So I'll leave that to the hackers here to use their OSIN skills to get the person. It's a he or she. And then type out the name in the comment section below so after that i went for an event that was organized by iot network Hub. so i really wanted to see all these hacker folks so on the 10th of invited global for a presentation on cyber security and data privacy they brought an intent to do a presentation so whereas the emojis were reserved like some kind of thing they, they were reserved they were just by us watching what we were doing and during the demo section that was when me had got to the floor and then they started doing some stuff I was like wow this is a cool stuff I can win them and then so that's when they started talking about all these CTF platforms I didn't know about um, um, CTF time I didn't know about Hacker 101. I didn't know about Try Hack Me. I only knew about Hack the Boss. That was from a friend in school. So he told me about Hack the Boss and then he just told me how I would get um, an invite code for, to, to be able to play on the platform. But when I got to the platform, I couldn't do shit because I didn't have any idea about CTX. I didn't know shit. I was just roaming about over there. This video is not watching here. Let's get let's, let's go. So with that in mind, I quickly moved to the intern after the presentation. And then I asked him how he got the internship role at Invitech Global as penetration tester. So he told me he took their training, their hands-on training for a month, and then he that's when they maintained him because he got better at what he was doing. And then I was like, so go back. You know, first I was seeing the training as 
like it's too basic. The basic se- the basic section is just too basic. Said why for hacking and web penetration testing. You know, I thought I could do SQL injections, but I hadn't. Uh, I I just thought I could, but that, 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 that that's not how things go in this world. Okay. Yeah. So by then, we have to a challenge of anyone that will be able to solve some questions is solve all the labs on solve all the labs on this platform so it was like you give them um, you pay their fees for the training section I was like mm, I really have to grab this I really have to grab this because I didn't have money to even pay a thousand for this I'm, I'm, I'm still a student at this time so I don't have that money to go and pay and then take the election because I also wanted to write CEH and all that so I was contemplating so when he brought out the offer because I really wanted to do my internship there because it was so interesting about how he trained there for a month and then he could do all the stuff come and present explain very well to us so like I was reading on myself for a whole let's see six months but i couldn't i didn't know all that he said that day so i was like okay i think this is a, a very good place to start so he drew that then i got his number then when i got to my text telling then i started when i got to immediately i started because they said the first to get it, the first three people to solve all the labs you get a free intake so in the term global for their basic training so i was like no i would have to grab this if it's if it's free i would have to grab it i don't care if it's basic or, or advanced or anything i would have to grab it i have to grab it i solved this questions i went for the event on saturday and sunday i solved almost sunday monday tuesday wednesday then i was done then I texted him that I'm done and he said okay send me screenshots and said you get back to me okay so I relaxed I was so happy within myself I've accomplished a lot I'm now the big hacker of the whole world <laughs> and he texted me that wow I've, I've really done well so you get back to me okay. so after that the next day that's when the president came and then the outbreak of coronavirus came and then we had to all go home and everything was just locked down and I didn't know what to do so I couldn't partake in the training as well along the line he started coaching me on how to use try hack me and how to clear on hack the box and when every time I have a question I just go to him and then I ask him and he gives me an answer at times i said I, i'll tell him okay I, I would like to do the fishing you, you you did the last time i at this conference i would like to know how you did it and then he told me okay go to this repo clone this repo on github by the time he gets back home then he tells me okay i'm back home now have you checked through the repo then before he comes i've already read a lot about it not to brag up i i quickly go through then I quickly see how I can use the tools and most of the tools were built with Python and then I had fair knowledge about Python so he added me to the team of the group and through that a message came one day that Invitec Global was looking for interns <laughs> in the area of web development, graphic designing and penetration testing I quickly applied, I said we should send our CVs see, I quickly sent my CV I got an email from them giving me a time to attend an interview with them. I was like, whoa, an interview? I haven't done this before. So I was so nervous. So I quickly started searching for um, internship interviews on YouTube. On the interview day, I quickly dressed and then it was a video, it was a Zoom call video chat. So. They asked me what I knew about Invitec Global. 
I told them, I went to their website, I read their mission, I read their vision, I read almost it. It was just at the back of my <laughs> It was all here, so I was just pouring it out. I said, okay, I think you are good to go. Then he asked me this question about SQL injections, and I was like, <gasps> yeah, he placed it in a, in a practical manner that, okay, if this is this, I can't ask, I quite don't remember that. If this is this, then how would you how would you perform an SQL injection for this? It's like, yeah, but this is this is an internship. I'm supposed to come and learn, not to come and answering SQL injections. What if I didn't know anything? So I was it wasn't like I didn't know anything about SQL injections. I knew stuff about SQL injections, but at the point when he asked me, I was so surprised because I didn't expect any of those questions. And I was like, and nothing like my head just became so empty and then the only thing that came to my head was SQL map SQL map the only thing that came to my head was SQL map and um, I mostly use um, SQL map for my SQL injection I said wow then you must be very good with the SQL map too and I was like yeah 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 I was like okay 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 now let me ask you a question about cross-site scripting he asked me and that one I I knew it, I knew it. So I was like, okay, that's fine, that's fine. Then you are good to go. You are good to go. You hear from us. So after three days, that's when they called for the first session. Yeah, they created a group and they called they called for the first session. And on the first day we introduced ourselves and talked about what we wanted to learn, what we are expecting from Invitel Global or what we are expecting from this internship and what we like to learn so from there I was like, okay, this is a very serious piece but I have to do well and then learn from this piece of learning so on the first week um, we did a training with Man Bala, Tai Bala. He's a, a CTF team lead for Invitel Global. And that guy is really good. He's really good. And he taught us about how to gather information using Google Docs, um, using Google Docking, using Nmap. So, give us a lot of parameters with Nmap. And went on with how we can put first. So he took us sequentially on how to gather information using a lot, a lot of stuff. Using build with Wapalizer. Um, the surprising thing was they taught us how to even install Kali Linux or Parrot OS. On the first day, other interns couldn't get that. On the second day, I was already using Kali at that moment. On the second day, they went through it. The people that didn't get as they went through. Since the company was a cyber security firm, they made everyone install this and then went through the first week of training. So the second week of training just was about cyber security certifications and then uh, bug bounties. So it was talks from all this hackers from other parts of the world, from India, from China, from Russia. So, they, some of them, when they came on board, they talked about mobile pen testing. And then the one that I really learned from was the bug bounties, the certifications, and the right part, what you should learn when you want to do mobile penetration testing, what you should learn when you want to do a web penetration testing, who you should follow on LinkedIn, who you should follow on Twitter, who you should follow on YouTube. That's how I got to know about John Harmon, Pratik, Live Overflow, and a lot of people. So that's how I got my internship at Invited Global. Um, recently, recently, a friend also asked me recently that if he wants to do an internship at Invited Global, how does he go about it? I was like, he would have to call them or give them an, an email. And I, I told him that mostly you would have to take a training with them. That's the norm. You'd have to take a training with them. 
or unless you are on the look of them giving internships out and then saying that okay we are hiring interns into our company one exciting thing that i learned from this internship was we built uh, an ip logger we built that uh, using bad scripting so father told us a bit of bad scripting and we built on it we did tons of uh, presentations ourselves we did a lot of work penetration test ourselves on dynamic sites on static sites uh, we did a lot of activities during this we gave out uh, free trainings to some of the people that were able to attend their last ceremony yes but certainly advise you all to take a hands-on training from Invitech Global thank you very much